Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jonathan. Today it is uh, Thursday, June 16th. Um, so happy Thursday to everyone. Uh, for this video, I want to quickly introduce you guys to a product. Um, this will mainly be an unboxing video. So if you guys are actually thinking about this, if you actually type in and look up, uh, actually watching my video right now, I assume you saw, you probably were thinking about buying this product. So for this video, I won't be testing it out. I'll just be unboxing. Um, first of all, I want to thank my friend um, for sending me the link. It, I got this on sale. I, I'm not really sure if it's on sale or clearance, but it's a lot cheaper. Um, it was uh, first um, on Slick Deal, and then my friend um, texted me, you know who you are, so thank you a lot. Um, it was sold by Walmart on their website, retail price for $99. Um, and then it had like a line across it and it's currently selling for $29.99 and you know I just got to get it right away I know that these things probably ran out like get sold out really fast so this is a vacuum um, I don't know if I know you guys been mentioning it before someone mentioned this before my camera is actually flip I don't know how to flip this around but if you guys know let me know I'm sorry, but just believe me, this thing say wet and dry vacuum, vac. Um, it has a um, eight gallon, eight gallon, six horsepower peak. So max peak at six horsepower. Uh, I did the pickup, so this we got that. Uh, the brand is Hurt, H-A-R-T. Um, on the bottom it say eight gallon stainless steel. That's pretty cool, stainless steel. Wet and dry vacuum um, has some Spanish. Uh, 325 air watt. I don't know what that means. Air watt. Um, complete vac organization with onboard hose, cord, and accessory storage. So that's pretty good. Let me quickly lift it up. I don't know if you guys can see it. So this is mainly going to be. I wouldn't recommend this in a house. Um, in I mean, in for the house use. Because uh, for a house use, I will recommend the regular one. Um, but for this, it's mainly useful like if you have it in the shop or something like that. So let me quickly give you a 360 uh, turn of the box. It has demonstration uh, picture, as you can see, mostly used in the shop. I guess you could use it in the house. Um, yeah, but for me, I mainly want to use this um, around the outside of the house. And then inside my car, I wouldn't be using inside the house. Um, well, my house doesn't really have carpet, so I really don't need it. Um, but I think it can, might be useful. Um, hopefully, show you guys some of the stuff that I came with it um, from the Patreon. So you got these accessory, different type of accessory. So I'll probably be using these two a lot. Um, also, it come with a filter, so that's pretty cool. Big, big brown filter. So this is a cylinder type of vacuum, kind of like a, I don't know what you call it. But let's get to it. Since it's, this is an unboxing video, let me open it. Um, I think I got the knife, just regular knife. So for 29 bucks, I think it's a really good deal. I'm sure this, I'm sure if I look it up right now, it's probably most likely sold out by, by now. Um, so like I say, I want to thank my friend for um, sending me the link. And now I'm just going to unbox it and show you guys what it look like. Uh, on my next video, I'm going to show you guys um, uh, the performance of it. And I'm going to use it outside of the house, actually. I won't be using it inside the house. But it, it is a nice feature that they are able to do it in wet, like in the water. Um, but I just never thought about that. So I most likely wouldn't be using it for that. For that. Um, so after you open it, wow, they stack it really neat. You got yourselves uh, the wheels. So I guess you have to assemble this. Um, I'll show you guys how to assemble too. Um, not that I know how, because I, I, I haven't looked at the instruction yet. Um, I probably won't be looking at it anyway. You got the accessory. You got the whole, um, I don't know what you call this. Um, I really like the white color, I have to say, white and black. So you got the, the tube, 
two of them. So you got two of them. You could actually extend it pretty long. So this is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I have to say for 29 bucks, it's uh, even for the material itself, it's actually a really good deal. Um, you got yourselves a handlebar. It looks like it's for the top right here, the handle. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else it have? Let's see. Ooh. Uh, it's kind of stuck at this moment. Let's take these uh, corner stuff out. This is the thing that keeps holding it in. There we go. You got the instruction manual. Oh yeah, I want to quickly say, last thing is that it has a three year warranty. Uh, unlimited three year warranty. So that's pretty cool from the manufacturer itself. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, take the cover off. You got a beautiful looking nice blue button that's pretty cool um eight gallon six peak horsepower and you got some uh, mirror like reflection mirror probably can see my face on here <laughs> look at that so i like it i i like the color but most likely it probably gonna get dirty really easy might get my fingerprint on it so i think this is the stainless steel that they were talking about um what else? Um, let me cook it. I probably could just look at. So it looked like the bottom right here. This is probably the drain where you know all the dirty stuff might go. Actually, I'm not sure. This might be for the wet because it's in blue. Like I say, I, I didn't look at the instruction. Um, and then I assuming the filter is already in it. Let's try to open it. You got uh what's called an opening right here where you push it in so when you push it in and I assuming this should just pop open yep oh wow look at that big old filter yeah that's the pretty big filter right here um, so in terms of vacuum uh, I'm not really sure six horsepower is that considered as a lot or little uh, I don't really know, so you guys could leave it comments. So it, you got all the holes in there. Um, let me take these holes out. Ooh. You also got uh, some of the accessory. You got the wheel. Oh, you got the bags too. So for sure, you probably have to buy more of these bags. Um, I'm definitely have to look up the website, look at this brand, see if I could get more of these bags right here. You got some sort of filter, kind of like a. Oh, okay. I think this. I. You know what? I think this goes around. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing goes around the cover of the filter. So. You know what? No, actually, it doesn't, because it doesn't fit. I don't know. So I might need to look at the instruction. Um, let's see what else. You got more accessory. We got uh, more wheels, more wheels. We got the handle. Probably go somewhere. And um, yeah, put the paper in here. Oh, there we go. I was looking for screws. So it does come with the screws. Um, well, it has to come with the screws for you to uh, install this. So you know what? I think I might look at the instruction and then go with it. But other than that. Um, I'm gonna pause the video and then show you guys the finishing product and let you guys know what I did, okay? Oh shoot, my goodness. Hey guys, so sorry about that. I just dropped my, I guess iPad or whatever you call it. So anyway, um, I don't know if you could see it. I got everything on. I got the wheels and everything on it. Um, here, yeah, maybe I could flip the camera around to show you guys. Uh, 
so there we go i got everything on apparently what i found out is that this is supposed to be wet filtered uh i'm i'm not really sure how does it um i was looking at the i was looking at the instruction um yeah i, I don't really know um so i mainly just looking at the picture um looking at the picture a simple i'm more a visual learner so i was looking at the picture um i guess these uh thing you could stick on the side right here yep what's the other one um yeah i don't really know it's it shows that it come with the the wet filter but i don't really know how to insert it into it uh, so as you can see that you got yourselves a dry one and you got a wet one um i assume you're able to remove the dry one and then uh, insert the wet one but for now i won't be using this so i was just going to put this in the box and then let's see what else i could show you guys but anyway um Sorry for the background noise, but that's pretty much it for now. Um, if you guys are looking, one comment that I do want to make is that I think these things could get dent very easily. Like if you dent it, um, yeah, because it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's a soft metal, but it is, um, if you hit it with something different, for sure it will dent. But other than that, um, you know, I haven't screwed everything in, in yet, but uh, another thing is that it has a, uh, I don't know what this is, some sort of chain in the back. Yeah, let me show you guys. You see that? I don't know what this is. Maybe for you to hang something, and there's a hook right here too. Um, a pin is, is twist, you could twist it, adjust. So, oh, maybe this is for the holes, for the power cable. Electric, um, yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It is so. After you open this, you could twist around and then on top of right here, and then. But yeah. Anyway, that's for the holes. Um, what else? I want to show you guys. You could stick this in the back like this. Yep. So both sides. Let's put this in the back instead so it's easier. Voila. So this, uh, well, for sure, for maybe it's this way. I'll try to flip this around. Can this look better. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. So that's that. And then for the small one, you got right here, these go to the front. So you have an opening in the front right here, next to the legs. So the one on this side, I guess it doesn't really matter which side way it goes, like that. Um, I have another one, which I have the best one. I'm going to stick this on here. There we go. So that's pretty much it. I still haven't figured out. Oh. You know what I think ouch I think this will go on top I assume me anyway guys I'm still trying to figure everything out um, let me twist this around so they have an opening right here next to the legs you could take this out oops you could take this out and then just stick it down like that there we go I don't know if you guys can see that. So one here, I got the extension in the back. Um, I got the other one on that side. And then the second extension, I put it in the back on the other side, right there. Uh, in terms of these holes, I think uh, it's probably go along the circle, along the top right here, because they have an opening on both sides. So that's something that I need to put. That's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you're thinking about buying one, definitely, well, at this moment, I think the price is really good. For 29 bucks or 30 bucks, 
you got this whole vacuum, like a so look kind of like an industrial vacuum type of thing. Really good. Um, I'm pretty sure this, the top right here, the top, that's for the dry, and then the bottom's for the wet. So when the when you suck in the water, it'll be on the bottom. Um, but of course, I'm not. This is based on my assumption. So I I still need to look through the instruction. But anyway, watch out for my next video. I will show you guys um, this thing in use in, in action. Okay? All right. Uh, nice chatting with you guys. Um, what else I want to show? Um, what model is this? Let me check if they have a model number. So you guys might be wondering, like, oh, what model is this? Um, it has an item number. Item number 5765478388. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have a item number. I don't know what model is this. Um, it has the information on the bottom on the motor. It's an 11.5 amp, 120 volt, uh, 8 gallon, 100 max CFF. So the fan speed, um, 100 max. Uh, water lift is 89 inch, uh, H2O max. Air watt is a uh, 325 watt, and then power core is 10 feet, and two weight is 18 pound. So this thing holding weight about 18 pound. Um, yeah, I don't see any model. So no, doesn't really have it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. If you have any question, comment, leave it below. If you found something that, like the same one, cheaper, if you found something that's in 30 bucks, I think you should definitely get it. Maybe on Amazon or something like that. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys. Bye.